Hey, what's up guys? It's Ark here, and I am in the world of Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I want to take this time to touch on some of the settings for people running on low to mid-end spec systems. I don't really have the greatest system myself. Thought I did, but after playing this game I realized, you know, the graphics as far as PC goes is moving so far ahead right now. I have a 780M and SLI. But even that is having trouble maintaining Ultra. I mean, I think I get like 30 to 40 frames on Ultra. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But um, I'm going to talk you through what you can do to lower, your, to lower the um, performance costs. Pretty much try to maintain a solid 60 FPS and keep some of that gorgeous detail at the same time. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to your options under video. I'm using the controller, by the way. Uh, this is still on PC. I'm just using an Xbox controller. So go to post processing. That's the first one we're going to tackle. And you can leave most of this on. The one thing you're going to want to turn off is the anti-aliasing. This has the biggest performance cost as far as post processing is concerned. So anti-aliasing, turn that off if you can. If you have a meteor system, or if you just really want to leave it on, you can. But as far as I'm concerned, anti-aliasing will cost you anywhere from 5 to 10 frames depending on the scene. Yeah, I know. It's just That's just how it works. I don't know what is the base anti-aliasing value for this. I'm sure there's a config file and I might release a later video on how to edit that. But for now, I have it turned off. Everything else, you can kind of turn on. I wouldn't go HBAO unless you have a... Maxwell GPU from an, an NVIDIA. I don't think AMD cards can go HBAO anyway. I think it's an NVIDIA thing. But yeah, everything else is turned on. The only thing I would recommend turning off is anti-aliasing. This has one of the biggest performance hits as far as post-processing is, is concerned. Now, as far as graphics is concerned, there are a few things you're going to want to change. I have a vertical sync turned on because I don't want tearing. You know, that's also more of a performance cost for me, but that's just something I personally like. You can turn that off if you want. But one of the things you're going to want to turn off is hair works. And even on the Titan in SLI at 4K, this is a big performance hit. Hair works is a huge performance hit. Now, you can leave it on Geralt if you want, if you just want to see hair on him and how that works. That's fine. I have it turned off. It doesn't take anything away from the game for me. That's fine. Number of characters in the background. Now, as far as NVIDIA is concerned, because they posted up a blog about this, it doesn't matter what setting you set this to, because they haven't seen, they haven't been in a region where there's more than 70 characters on screen. And at the very low, that is 70 characters. I think it's 70, 130, or something like that, and then all the way up to 150. So I think it's 70, 100, 130, and then 150 is at the ultra. I leave it at high. You can turn it all the way down to low. You're not going to see 70 NPCs on the screen at one time. But that's just something you can just leave on there. I, I really don't care. Shadow quality, I have it down to medium. You could always crank that up to high. I just leave it at medium. Everything else should be at high. I think you should be able to handle that if you have a 770 at the very least. You should be able to handle everything at high. I just have it at medium because I turned on vertical sync. Personally, that's also a performance cost, so I have to lower down a few things because I want to leave my vertical sync on. Visible foliage range. Now that is just how far you can see trees. If you have a higher resolution screen, you can turn this down even lower because that higher resolution will be able to render further than what I'm getting now at 1080p. So I'm going to hop back into the game, and as you can see, it's really fluid. There's no, uh, there really isn't much lag to anything. I'm just gonna take a run Ooh. here, and without killing myself, oh my god. I'm pretty sure I'm getting a lot higher than 60, but I have my vertical sync turned on. So that's why it's not... Everyone's gonna watch it, how shitty I am at this game. That's fine. So yeah guys, Arkalon kind of sucks at this, I suck at this, I'm talking about myself in third person, but um, 
this is just how you can achieve that sweet 60 frames, solid 60 frames at all times. Just those two settings, post-processing, make sure you turn off anti-aliasing. Also, there's a glitch with the full screen. Personally, I don't know what's going on with it. If I go windowed mode, I lose like 10, 30 frames. It's, it's weird, maybe it's just my system. But yeah, it's, it's, it's really weird. I don't understand what's really going on with it. But aside from that, um, hair works, turn that off. Anti-aliasing, turn that off as well, if you can. I have vertical sync on, but you should be able to achieve high to medium settings, you know, as long as you turn down the the, the, vo the, the foliage range. As far as I know, the terrain quality isn't working well, and video posted that earlier yesterday. So yeah, I'll post up another update later if I figure out any other tweaks that you can make to the system to achieve that sweet, sweet 60 FPS and still get the gorgeous gameplay. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know anything you want to see, any particular changes you want to see me make, and then test the numbers. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.